talking about what would you bring a monkey to here? What? That's when I start saying she's a witch. Ah. You know, I feel at the end of the day to be body shamed, you need to have shame. about someone's body, um, height, shape, color, hair color, um, even age can also fall into this category. Why are you looking like this? <laughs> like she doesn't think like something. Topic, yeah. So yeah, and body, it can be both ways. Sometimes we body shame ourselves and other times we body shame others. And I think at some point everybody has experienced this from different angles. Either you have body shamed your own self or someone else, consciously or subconsciously. Um, let me start with you, Cynthia. Yeah, have you ever been body shamed? What, what is your body shaming experience? Do you have it? So you ask me first if I want to body shame. Yeah. I live from body shaming constantly. Constantly, I mean, go you constantly experience body shaming. Over and over again. Yeah. People come to your experience, yeah. the one that really stand out or the one that yeah. stuck with you. <laughs> Everything is stuck with me. So, but you don't actually, you don't actually move on from like when people constantly jab at you over and over again for something that you literally. What are you? What about you? <laughs> I'm a body shame though. I can't say constantly because. Stopped these days. You know that somebody shaming that they say it to your face, and there's some that you won't. Maybe they'll let you pass, like you job, or you just feel like this person is actually talking about me. You know they'll look you in a way that this people is actually talking about me. But the only thing I can say is I don't let it get to me these days. But body shaming, yes, I have been body shamed. What have you been body shamed about? My hair, because my hair, because I am very very hairy. And when I was in secondary school, I didn't have it. After my secondary school, I started having hair on my face. And you know, I was young and naive, so I would just buy shaving stick. I would just start shaving, and oh. start having big bobs, and the hair start coming out more. You know, the more you shave, the more you have yeah. the hair. So it, it start coming out more, and that's when I start saying, she's a winch. Ah. You know, it is winch people, and she's not even an evil girl. I didn't mean she's an evil girl now. Would have say evil or hair. Yeah. She's a Yoruba girl, and she's this airy. He said that she's a winch. And I could remember my second boyfriend, when, his senior sister met me and like okay let's let me talk to you and I could I could if you were talking about what would you bring a monkey to the house? What? She used the word monkey because th at that time somebody advised me that I should stop shaving it that maybe if I stop for a while that is going to it's not going to come out like that and everything so I just I left it like that so somebody like the monkey to you. I don't know if our family is this airy. What would you bring your girlfriend that is this airy? What would you... I felt bad that I started crying. I'm a very, very hard person. What I don't come out of my eye, but I could remember that day. I just, I just can't remember that I left. Wow. Cynthia, what, what have you been commonly shamed, body shamed about being wow. I wouldn't say it was small. Skinny. Easy was skinny, not slim. Wow. <laughs> Are you skinny? Whatever you got, you do perfect, but have you ever been body shamed? Yeah, little, little Godwin was body shamed. It was on both ends of the spectrum. I was, when I was um, 10, 11, eating puberty, I went through it. I, went, I don't want to use the word fat, but I went through it. So basically you're fat? Yeah. yeah you are shopping, no less than shopping. I was shopping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, after a period of time, I became drastically slim. So on both ends of the spectrum, uh, You've been and I have actually body shame. So consciously or subconsciously? Maybe you deserve it. Consciously. Consciously. The only person that body shame is myself because I do it to some level. Harry, what about you? Have you uh, body shame? Yes. Tell me about your body shaming experience. Well, that was the last time I remember was I was in primary school. I was okay. ashamed uh, because of my height. I was like one of the tallest in class. And you know when you do something wrong, the first thing people go for is your height. And they like when they want to insult you, they like, just have that uh, 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 as tall as you are. You don't have sense. I'm very sure you really want to do uh, that. Uh, <laughs> and when something bad happens, like I'm the guy. For me, I was body shamed in secondary school because again, obviously, I'm very slim. So people always laugh at me. They tag me. You see some people be like, if you don't leave here now, I'll break you. Pankere. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't call me Pankere because I didn't grow up 
Side. Yeah, on my side, you know, they can't, they have mouth now. If they bad mouth, <laughs> you won't, you won't, you bad won't cry for like one week. So I went through that phase in secondary school. I'm going like, it sort of affected me mentally. I felt like I was not complete. I felt like, okay, again, I have both legs. So back then, they would laugh at me like, so ah, the confidence was shaking. Yes. So if they would laugh at my bow legs and they would also tease me for being They're sick. actually so beautiful. So when I got into the university and I met like people from different parts of the world, different parts of Nigeria, I started appreciating how I do. First stuff started with me embracing my four legs and now love it. Like one of the best pictures I have in my body right now. <laughs> then I started embracing my my slim my slimness. And and I think I love it. And when I accepted who I am, I sort of started feeling better. But do you have any experience? She has talked about her that that sort of I stuck with you for a long time. No, I it's funny now thinking about it as you are talking. All the times I was probably shame. Sorry I'm talking this way after the call. All the times that I've been probably shamed when I was younger, I don't feel any way. I don't feel any way. I wasn't sad, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't depressed. Even now at But this did you age, ever think of putting on weight just to no, no, that's what I'm saying. It's now, as an adult, that it gets to me more. That's, that's it's funny. Like, it never <laughs> did get to me because I was like, what, what are you talking about? Because like, no. I, I, was always, I was always a smaller kid because I was, like, in age, like, I was faster than people, so I, I would be in the same class with people that are way older than me. So I felt, I mean, I should be this small because you guys are old, you okay. know? So it never, ever got to me, even in this university. Because now as an adult, I'm like, Oh, oh! I'm really skinny. <laughs> makes sense. No, not really skinny. I love my body, oh, but it really makes sense beautiful. that people who probably are my age mates, uh, older, older, or have like curvier bodies than me, and not not actually not. I was but shame today by a supposed admirer saw my picture and said two two sticks on my legs. Okay, what about you? Yeah. Oh. Is there any experience that's really stuck with you? Not really. I feel at the end of the day to be body shamed, you need to have shame. And I like that. <laughs> and well, for the most part, growing up, I, I didn't really, I didn't really give it that. I was okay. Just... Let's move to why people see the need to body shame. Ari, um, you are the psychologist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, tell me why people see the need to constantly tell you how you should look. Why? The way you look is not good enough, you know. Well, uh, first, I think people who do that have this insecurity that exactly. they are dealing it's, with. That is me. That you see that, that the way of, uh, they call it defense mechanism in psychology. Yeah. So either they project it onto you to make you feel bad or they just do that, to make you feel bad so they feel, basically it's just have to do with their ego. They just want to project that same insecurity that they feel about themselves yeah. to the next person. So what about when your also, parents, does, does that mean that they don't care about you? And, al you and also, from parents, I know society kind of influences that because yeah. if you look at, let's say, the early 2000s, uh, ladies are wrestling with things, they call them like that. All of a sudden, it shifted from that era to the chubby girls. Only got to move to something. Maybe and in my the beauty standard keeps changing. Yeah. And it keeps changing. Why? Because you look at our uh, um, adverts, videos, musicians. Like you can literally count with your ten fingers how many musicians use. Let's say, for example, complexion now. That girls for their video. True. They always go for the slim ones or the ones that are very. And that's fair. body shaming. And that's body shaming. Adverts. So all these things, we subconsciously we are we are the ones selling these things out. We are the ones changing the standards, but they say oh yeah, but it's us. True though, and the media also plays a very vital yes. and pivotal role. Um, I remember reading an article about this, and they said in the early 80s, women that are chubby and fat, they are seen as the elite of the society yes. because it's assumed that they are they wealthy, get, yeah, they eat well, well, they are living a good life. Then a magazine wrote, someone wrote an article about health. And how looking skinny is the best way to look. Yeah, education is <laughs> you can, So if you look skinny, it means you're healthy, it's better, you're more sexy, yeah. and all. So people are shifting from yeah. the big side, Sorry. trying to fit into um, the skinny size. And again, 
the media in terms of advertisement, modeling, they now created a standard that okay, if you are not this certain size, it means you're you not you're it. not yeah. beautiful. And again, looking skinny doesn't mean you're healthy and looking or being on the plus size doesn't mean you are unhealthy. Yeah. So that's well, another obese. thing yeah, people need to understand. So now can, can I say something for yeah. you? Do you know the way okay, like you said something about Port Belly, the guys and girls, do you know that I've forgotten the tribe in Namibia? I can't remember the name or like off the top of my head. They find men with uh, the pot, pot belly. belly yeah. They find those ones attractive. So once you're a guy and you don't have a pot belly, they see you. know, they feed them you're, milk. You're amounting nothing. The okay, let's talk about feeding them milk. milk. It's, it's literally a problem. For example, some people find it offensive when you call them fat. Just calling someone fat offensive. No, but that's what you are. Okay, to be, yeah, uh, it depends. It depends on what is going on that person's head. You don't just open your mouth. To me, yeah, to you, you say that's what they have, right? But you don't know what that person is going through in her. You know, when you just say fat, maybe there's maybe there's somebody has said something to her yesterday or the first and she's feeling unsafe about yeah. it. So you just saying fat to just key to what she's thinking in her head. I'll be like. Oh, that yeah. is what this person is saying this time. Oh, yeah. That is what this person is saying this time. You now start adjusting. I'm asking this because when you call some certain people fat, they take they all say, yes. no, no, say, no, slim, actually. No, no, say, um, just say slender. Why would you say skinny? Skinny yeah. or slim. Yeah. You, you get the thin. Thin. Thin is Thin is terrible. No, no. Don't call me thin. Please. <laughs> No, you are not. <laughs> well, in a way, I think it's the way, uh, like she said, the way the mind interprets it. Yeah. If I'm saying fat, whether I'm saying fat, I'm saying chubby, I'm saying, I might be saying the same thing. That's how I, that's how I know to qualify it. Mm -hmm. Now, but it depends on how I say it to the other person and what the other person, maybe what they have in mind or the context in which I call them fat. And number three is that's good that they have nothing in mind, but humans interpret language. That's why yeah. at some point in time, people said, uh, I don't know if it's uh, French now, they say Spanish was the language of love. Yeah. Along the line, we moved back that no, it's now French as language of love. So it, it, that's how we interpret that. I can, if I call you fat, if I call a uh, person fat in English and fat in French, it could be in a different, different way. So okay. also the brain too. So we have to have a pretend language or the way it sounds, you know, this voice we hear in our head when we chat with people. The it person in my language, language, yeah, your head, you're head you're interpreting something else. Fat also you won't come across bad. I mean a deep one. Yes. When you when you call you skinny but not cry. Where do you draw the line between, you know, compliments or body shaming and actually Facing well, for parents, I think. Not just parents, let's generalize it. He's talking parents, about parents. Because you know, parents also, they are the, sorry, they are the ones that yeah. project yeah. the yeah. most. Well, it's because but, of, but yeah. sometimes, even someone that is your friend, if you are getting overly fat, let me use that word. No, not overly fat, let me use the word obese, because obese is the yes. negative yeah. Yeah. This thing. And the person is telling you, oh, you are getting obese though. How can the person say it without it sounding like yeah. body shaming? Yeah. It depends on the relationship what, between what, them. what you say and how you say it's very important. Yeah. I can tell you, okay, come here, and it will sound polite. I can tell you, maybe raise my voice and tell you, come here, it will sound aggressive. Yeah, I'm saying this. Me. I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, sure. so I'm sorry. To say parents it. For parents, I feel uh, if if you're a parent and you're thinking of saying that to a child, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. But you have to let the child understand why yes. you are saying yeah. this to him or her. Because if you just tell them, you don't know what the children. Most of the time, children don't talk. They might be having the same experience in school, but they don't want to tell you, or they don't understand it yet. So they know your reaction. You know your reaction. You can call them, oh, sit down. I'm not saying you're about that. Make them feel that you can correct with love and tell them, oh, this. I'm not saying this because of people shaming you. Let it not be because people will shame you. That way, you're already bringing the esteem of the child down. You're already yeah. comparing. You're already comparing. So it could be, okay, because these are the health uh, benefits yeah, yeah. of slimming down. And on the other, on the flip side, this is what will happen. This is bad thing that will happen if you have more weight. weight. Then, you see that child will be happy to at least, oh, the child will be willing to like listen more to you and work on it than you just saying, oh, because people will shame you. It's like you're removing one poison and you're putting another. Mm. Sorry, what of, what of body shaming among uh, maybe you're in a relationship and maybe your, your man is body shaming you? Or he wants to look in a certain way. Certain the way, very yeah. important message that will be passing if you're a guy and you would like a lady, you want slim lady, like, what, should I say slim? Yeah. Go for slim. You can say if you, want, if you want, <laughs> if you want the choppier one with the go fat ass, go for that. Go for but that. don't be with a slim lady and expect her with, to have big I whatever. I don't understand how, how people do that. They do that a lot. You know your, your spec, you know what you want. <laughs> and then you 
you are like, <laughs> you'll be okay for a fat girl, like, tell her to So, you know, we work on ourselves. Uh, that's some, that's some working that does not really fit in. What yeah. are you working I think you on? I, I think I agree now. with you. What are you working on? on? Go for the one you want, not... Don't worry, when you date me, you add me. Like, like no, are you okay? Are you, you got like that's a, no, like, no, like, that's a measure for okay. Yeah, the relationship is How good. How are so you? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good relationship. Uh, so, <laughs> you're not going to take people to develop a thicker skin. Also, that yeah, everybody cannot be like that. Yeah. Everybody cannot well, for me, see. I no matter how motivation speaker there. I want to try, some people will still. So you know the analogy you gave about somebody tackling something within. It might be the person's own insecurities. Yes. Nobody has told her that she needs X Y Z because she's very insecure. And you just come and say, "Oh, you're yeah, skinny, hey, voila." Well, uh, so it's really not. Sometimes it's not coffee. about you. It's, coffee, it's still also coffee. yeah. But it's okay. It's still also about. Um, the, the person. So yeah, people should develop. That's why yeah, I said self love, self love, love and yourself. Self confidence. Believe that you are the best. Work like you are the best. Is and be healthy. Say. I feel like um, when you talk about self love, trust the past too. I don't want to bring fashion into it. So it doesn't look as if you're vain. But you know your skin. You wear clothes that will make yes. you look at your body and appreciate your exactly. body. Those tiny curves that God gave you. Accentuate every bit of those tiny cords. Your your thick or fat, like you say it. You know, flaunt your body. Embrace it well. That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. Because you might say you love your body, they think they think it's just mental. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Just love your body. Sometimes you need a little bit of vanity. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little bit of vanity. You don't have to do oh I love myself. Oh, I'm telling, giving myself daily affirmations. I'm beautiful. I'm worthy. I'm smart. You can, sometimes dress the part. Yeah. The goal you get yourself. Clothes that when you wear, you look at your body, like, you tell yourself, My Skinny body is fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my understand. god, I love my pulse. Yeah. And again, you have to accept yourself for who you are. And accept who you are and love it. And if you, then if you it, need yeah. to work on any exactly. area, like honestly, Honestly, this is not because someone is saying you are fat or someone is saying you are skinny. See, yeah, I would like to, when I was in my project in school, um, it was a science project, uh, we asked to, as part of the project was checking everybody's um, BMI. body, yes, BMI, and I discovered, according to the standard, that I was underweight. Yeah, me too. Uh, Do you get? Yeah. That's a problem. That's not healthy. Yeah. For my age and weight, it was imbalanced. Yeah. So it was left for me to say, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to take I do different um, protein so shake? Yeah. Am I going to eat more? Do you get? So for you me, that's... that's and intelligent. Yeah. To know, okay, maybe I should actually work. But you know yeah. you can actually eat more and take all those protein and be healthy but not add weight. No, no it's not about adding normal. weight. Beauty has okay. charged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure you understand. Yeah. There's some people that they're actually trying. Yeah. Like they are actually... I try. I have some people that they're sleeping gym. Like, you tell me that she paid 20000 every month for Jay, well, okay, fine. And nothing is reducing. No, yeah, but that's, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be healthy. That's so it's, check it's just an advice like for that person that has been body shamed. Yeah, because even me, like I said, it was me that it happened to. I was because you can be healthy and when I checked the, the scale, you understand? So it was left for me to say, okay, what am I going to do? Because I'm unhealthy according to this weight. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to I'm not going to say Do you get? Do you get? So I need to do something about yeah. it so that one day I will not just fall down and collapse. And yeah. please don't hide. Don't hide. Don't hide. There are some people that have been body shamed and they hide. Like you don't see them, they're very jovial, they're people that play, but because they body shame them, me. they not stay inside the house. <laughs> don't hide. Yeah, very, it's very, positive. very important. So thank you guys for discussing this topic with me, body shaming. I, I, I want to believe we really dealt with this, right? Yeah. Or is there anything I'm, anybody I'm, wants to I'm, say? Is there anybody I'm, out there who still feels insecure because of their body, then go for therapy, work on your mind. Hey, that's what it, I want to ask from now. That what do you think you can use to work on? Yeah, they, they also they don't do. believe on therapy. Trust me. Really? Yeah, they do, but some not, don't even believe on therapy. Like, I've met a couple of not. people that um, that um, go for therapy just like maybe twice a, month, uh, a year or something like that, even though they are not really Yeah, that's medicine. how you should be saying with like, your doctor. Oh, that's so cool. I've never done yeah, that before. <laughs> I'm planning on. <laughs> I'm planning on. This is Sorry, planning before, on. I have what a What do you think? Apart from a therapy, what do you think somebody that has been body shamed frequently can do? You discuss with Most especially when you're being body shamed by somebody you love. What do you think you can do? You tell them. You yeah. have to be very open. Or even if you tell them. No, you tell them. You let them know how it makes you feel. You that. Yeah, that you that tell them. But some people don't know or realize what they're doing. Okay, let's look at it. What if um, the person in question is doing that? You know, education differ. It could be that the person really cares about you, but that's just their, uh, like, literary now. No, not all. That's just 
he's no way you're doing something wrong, but you don't know. To you, you're doing the right thing, but for, to like maybe the next person, you do something you tell wrong. Them how you so feel. you should tell them, not just cut ties. Talk, okay, yeah. I don't. If the I person don't like cares, you know, people yeah. you talk to, they'll just change the tone. They'll change the no, way they say it and say it in another way. I'm nah, like, that means you're not my friend. Oh, I shouldn't yeah, care about what you say. There's somebody that is always saying, do you know Zainab? That one with that hairy, that hairy girl, the one with. Someone is saying, I told her, see, I am Zainab. Don't tell me, I it was people, don't <laughs> say, don't say, you know, yeah. my hair is yeah. very, very hard yeah. and I've tried a lot of things. There's no how I'll do it that sometimes it won't bring out bobs. Mm. So that box and those tiny, tiny, because my, my hair comes with some pimples and everything. But I just But take, you look good. That is it. What that is what I start telling people. That's, because the bobs and everything you're talking about, I can't it see starts, My hair, it starts <laughs> going, you know, when, you know <laughs> when you are growing up, if she says something that when you're skinny, you wear something that is yeah. that will fit in. You know, you treat it sometimes. Not even because of that. Because you yourself, you want to look at the glass and be like, okay, fine, you sure you understand. So just keep working. So on if it's that. someone that you're not really close to, just know. But if it's someone that you really care about and the person cares about you, tell them how you feel like, I don't like it. Like, be honest. And they'll see that you're honest and I'm very sure they'll stop it. And lastly, just to wrap everything up, tie everything together. It's very important that you work on your mind. I mean, I'm reading a book that says sometimes how you think about yourself manifests. Yeah. Like if you think, oh, I'm going to fall sick, oh, you're definitely going to fall sick. If you think, oh, I'm ugly, you somehow you just, you just your beauty will just be um, you'll be losing your beauty and your touch. So how you see yourself in the book, I read about how a woman cured that some rash on her on her skin because she started loving herself more wow. because she was so worried. Then later on, when she met this psychologist and they spoke to her she became she, she was very happy and she at some point she'll go out love herself say positive things about herself and with time she the rash went away and she so it, yeah, yeah yeah so sometimes all you need to do is just love yourself and have a very positive mindset very so guys important. thank you very much for discussing this topic with me we are moving to the trend section where we talk about trending news trending videos anything trending news. So oh. thank you okay Says she's coming down the building and will jump if I tell the cops. So I'm just standing here watching her. We have fucking crazy neighbors. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Bro. Bro. Oh, that was the fucking fifth floor. Wow. guy just said one thing I would love to hear people say more. Being committed. Yeah. Yes. Being there for the person no matter what you know, happens. I really appreciate a man coming out to you to say, you know what, I you're very ugly, ugly but no, I no, love you. I would, yes. I, I would not take his words out of context. Yes. He said you're not no, I'm not talking about Solomon. Yeah, okay, okay. I said, would yeah, you? I'll be break up with him. I'm sorry. No, but I, I, I don't see anything way. wrong with the person. Personally, the I don't see anything wrong with you. You're telling me I'm ugly. Sweet. Cynthia, calm down. He's just being honest in his yeah. own way. Mm -hmm. Because there's no point saying your woman is the most beautiful and you go outside and chase another. Exactly. Like, show you, show you get now. He's saying you, you're not. But again, I don't want better. You're enough. You know, beauty is said to be in the eye of the beholder. 
do you get? Depends on how you I, also I don't believe that statement. I think the message. I don't. I, don't. I, don't. I think the message. As a psychologist, I don't. Trying to pass is that. Really? I, I love that. So you I love you, no matter who you are. As a psychologist, I don't believe that statement. I don't believe that. You don't think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So no. Where no. is the beauty? No. Are you guys serious right now? See. Yeah, I, 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 if I'm saying I can defend There's it. There's no standards for beauty. Oh. That's why it's in the eye. That's why I said it's not in the eye. It's not in the eye okay, of the beholder. So that is why the love is in the eye of who? Please let yes. him tell us. It's not in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Whatever caused that statement has to do with dopamine. I, I believe, let me defend my statement. Okay. I don't expect everybody to agree. Whatever caused the whole people dilating, it happens with not just with someone we love, but anybody you but like. But there's no standard for beauty. That is why I don't believe it's in the eye of the beholder. So the, the beholder is not even a, standard. Do you know even a blind person has a standard for beauty. That's his standard. That is, that is, is he seen? Is he seen? That is his standard. He just, it, 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 it just means beauty is here. Is it Your standard. Is yeah, so how, is how you thought of it? Because I just, gave, I just gave you an analogy. He, he said she, to me, to uh, him, right? To him. Right? So you're not you're beautiful. So according to his standard. To his standard. Okay, it's fine. Let's move on because that's. But that's why I thought I was. So you're only. So you're only. No, it's in your mind. Be- okay, see, okay, I can look at you and say you're beautiful. If I call maybe I call people, someone would say, I oh, know this girl is not attractive. Hey, because you're the beholder, like you're the one. Because that's not his okay, own standard I mean, of beauty in his mind. Okay, yes, to you, what it's I'm standard, saying is, right? the, yeah. the man's own, from his own standpoint, mm. isn't the woman supposed to be the most in beautiful most, in his own eyes? You get no, so you yeah. Yeah. He was coming out to post something publicly, so he's speaking generally. generally. Fine, okay. I didn't believe really that. I didn't believe really that. I didn't believe really <laughs> really that. Really you, you, you are not the most beautiful, you are not the most ugly, but I still love you. Bam. Okay. It should have been like, he says, he said that is now. long. No, I would I try to say that. Like, he has other sweet, sweet words to buttress. Oh, yeah, the, fine. Let's, let's move on. Um, what about the young lady that just. Killed true. <laughs> like she's a, she's a legend. legend. Legend, legendary and the bits, yo. <laughs> is, is cheating worth it, my guys? No. Even if you want to cheat, cheat to your full chest. Full chest, cheat to your full chest. Like, you're ready to feel the truth. No, no. Right. Cheat. no. I, I feel. Cheat. Like that's you. a thing. Cheat. No, but, but, yeah. but let's explain it. it. If he doesn't cheat, you're ready to fuck off. If your girlfriend came in and he, the other girl is running away, why? Why would you be going out with a man that you cannot even stand? That's, Maybe I think because that's because, that's because she knows she's the side chick. Yes, she knows. You want to be wrong because she knows. But even if you know you're the side chick, do you have to risk your life? You don't even know. Maybe the girlfriend is her friend. You don't even know if the girlfriend is her friend. You don't know maybe the girlfriend is her sister. Maybe yeah. the girlfriend uh, is her close friend and she will be she can't even like, I, 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 I suspect <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm gone. I'm very sure the lady know her and she yeah. know her and she, yeah. she feel like no, no. I can't be caught. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. If it's to climb 20 story building, I'm going there. Anyway, thank you very much guys for sitting with me on this lounge. I had to the sort time with you. Cynthia, thank you. Godwin, Zainab and Ari, my psychologist. Thank you.